Yeah, just uh, practicing the results of the evaluation. See how we're getting on on here as a guest. hit the palm so we take with the queen see if there's a queen exchange going on yes there is support I think we'll support developing a piece and simply capture <clears throat> excuse me so I'm thinking they've stopped their night from actually getting really active in the game because it could have attacked the palm but coulda, woulda, shoulda, don't mean we've won anything. I'm gonna bring the bishop out attacking the knight. It can just jump here. If it does, we're momentarily stopping the castling process because it does stop the king from getting into position. So you'd think something would be attacking, obviously not yet, but something will be attacking the bishop. So maybe pushing a pawn to support the pawn to attack down or to attack here. They've gone heavily into the tank at such an early part of the game. I don't think there's anything major at the minute. Okay, they've resigned. Well, that's a bit sketchy. We'll go for a new 10 minute game. Just uh, block the pawn. Develop the knight supporting the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Let's take the knight. Let's hit the queen with a smaller piece. This is my old school opening. So just push the pawn up. Hopefully try to make some space for the knight. Let's bring the knight out still. And the bishop. Maybe we might get castled. Still going to go with the castle link because we've got things supporting if the bishop does take. Okay, so we could move the knight out of the way, but not to here. Could bring it down, which is kind of going backwards. It's attacking the bishop. Bishop takes, queen takes. We're on their pawn. He's got two pieces defending. Do we hang fire on that and just bring the bishop and attack their bishop? With the rook x ray through to the queen if the bishop does take. Ordin ordinarily they bring the knight through, but that's not happening. So we're going to take the bishop. It looks like it's for free, but there could be a set tactical thing that I don't know about. 
So they've gone opposite our queen. So there is this potential for coming here. Our pawn's not going to be taken. So we could circumvent that and bring the knight back down. And attack the bishop. It's putting a lot of pressure on this pawn though. But anyway, if the bishop takes, queen takes. Knight's on the back. He's probably going to look to double up his rooks on this pawn. We are a minor piece up, but I'm not bothered about that. I want to get a better position. Because they look like they've got squishability going on. Alright, so they've moved the so we can move the knight back again. It's just he's looking to push the pawn. We can take. Do we get the knight here? I like to give the king company really. Shall we go for an, an attempt at going for a queen exchange? They're not wearing them apples. Shall we bother the queen again it is opposite our king but he doesn't have any supporting pieces at the moment so i'm going to bother it again see what it's doing it's probably just coming back here white square bishop get that into the game a bit but it's not doing much at the minute so they're potentially looking for a draw if i keep going backwards and forwards but if i bring the knight up And maybe we can get the rook in the game. Knight up. And then it does have this square. I feel like I'm missing something. Let's bring the knight up. They're moving with purpose. Okay. Ah, oh, hold on. This knight's going to be jumping here. So do we stop that first? Just push this pawn here. Trying to cover the blind spots, not going crazy for any potential attacks. Fingers crossed. Oh, he's uh, maybe not. No, Rook Ruberish. It's coming for our king area. What do we do? Is he going to be fast enough? Queen, 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 queen. Rook, rook. It's got loads of pieces on there. Bring the rook just to defend the pawn. Hmm. Not sure what they're planning. I'm going to continue with supporting our pawn. It's attacking the bishop. It's moving dead quick. So I'm going to bring the bishop back. Have an x-ray through to their rook so it looks like we potentially would be winning the rook but they're probably just going to block with the pawn which they have done so i'm going to attack the queen but then their pawn is just going to drop down drops the pawn down we take with the bishop I'll take with the knight because we're on the rook. So there, drops, take with the knight, takes back, bishop takes, x ray through to the rook. Let's attack the queen. Oh, takes. Well, that's thrown that out of the window, isn't it? Let's take. And knight can come here, but it's not really serving a purpose because it's just going to get hit. So do we just move the knight back again before we do that? Do we hit this pawn? an error isn't it <laughs> i just seen it <laughs> oh dear they take no matter what i take with they're gonna get a fork aren't they 
Oh. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, dear me. Oh, they've not taken. Oof. Right, so we can push here onto the onto the rook. Pawn takes, knight takes. Yeah, let's push onto the rook. Oh, that was special. They had us. They probably still have got us. We've got a minor piece up, so we need to box clever than what we just did. And just take some time over the calculation. Move order. It's a key thing, isn't it? The move order of things. We have the right idea, but it's the move order of um, how we go about it. Oh, game abandoned. Because you still get the gauge bar, don't you? Yeah, so it's showing black is out and out winning there, really. Anyway, it's um, five points. Yeah, okay, 5.9. Okay, that's good enough for me. Okay, going for another 10 minute game. See how we get on. Let's just attack this pawn. Let's attack the pawn in the center. Let's grab. So as you can see, still making move order um, errors issues. Uh, it must be embedded in me to just make these um, errors. I'm trying to get rid of them as best possible. Nine, knight is attacking the pawn. I'm just gonna bring the knight back around. Now they're moving real quick. I'm hoping that it's going to cause them some problems. So X-ray through with the queen, bishop onto the queen. Obviously they'll be hunting the b-pawn. Yeah, let's just push the b-pawn up. Tempting to just jump here. But the knight just takes. So if we'd hit the knight first, pawn take, pawn takes. Let's hit this pawn first and the knight. Let's grab the pawn. Knight's got no protection. Our king is airy. So let's bring this bishop here. Attacking the potential rook coming here. Obviously, he's just going to do a simple thing like this. Queen can sidle along because the knight's got no protection. Sometimes it's quite <clears throat> it's quite scary when you think that you're doing moves, you're attacking, and your king is still airy, and you think you're blocking everything off, and then you find out that the move order isn't quite right, and then you lose your queen because your queen's in front of your king. So they've done like um, a slow move here, which is good for me. So it gives us time to castle, I think. Yep. Okay, so they're not attacking anything per se, which means they're getting themselves set. We're going to lose a piece. So from my experience, I need to just get my act together. Just attack their bishop. Rather than sitting waiting for them to... When it looks like they're doing nothing. I think that's what I'm trying to say. When it looks like your opponent's doing nothing. They're building something in the background. So you may as well take some action immediately before your pieces get trapped and they find a better position on the board that's a lot of the reason i'm thinking it looks like they're doing nothing done a little pawn move here done a bishop move it's not really dynamically attacking anything but potentially i've got pieces loose yeah exactly queen attacking the unprotected knight so things like that you have to be thinking well if they're doing nothing it might mean something later on Going to x-ray through to the queen, give the queen up. If he's going for it, then at least potentially we're trying to own this file. But it's not really a full ownership when you've got the bishops and the knights there. What is all that about? Let's take. 
doubles our pawns obvious that's a that's a key thing so they've doubled our pawns so in essence they've reduced down our pawn count because our two pawns are stuck behind each other now <clears throat> excuse me it's attacking the bishop which is supporting the knight uh, we can bring the knight back but then he's going to have a two on one <clears throat> excuse me bad cough so it looks like our knight is in peril and the bishop's in peril exactly what i was talking about earlier wasn't it is that if it looks like they're doing nothing now all of a sudden i've got two pieces that are under threat and i don't have any major threats on anything Ooh, and i can't take any of their pieces off the board i'm looking for magic but He's got two on one. So I have lost a piece. Yes, it looks like I have lost the piece. Push the pawn supporting the bishop. Bishop takes, bishop takes. Yeah, let's just push the pawn and support the bishop then. Doubles the pawns again, so we've got two sets of double pawns coming up now all right okay so he's still maintaining that pressure isn't he because i'm going to lose my my knight i'm going to lose the knight wow magic magical play that is isn't it wow even if i do that he just takes the bishop off the board oh my gosh Bishop takes the pawn, pawn takes. Mmm. <sighs> That's scarily good. Tell you, when they look like they're doing nothing, they are doing something. Going to lose the knight. Attack the bishop. Attack the bishop, he takes ours. Yeah, okay, I'm going to attack the bishop. So if he takes, takes. If he takes our bishop, we take his bishop for free. I suppose he can take pawns, but I think that's equal exchange, I think. What other monstrous attack have they got going? This serious, like, they're up tempo in terms of getting this, my minor piece off the board. Does the rook get involved, but the bishop will be taken? If he moves the bishop back, gives us time to move our bishop out of the way. Yes, that seems to make sense. They attack the knight. We can take the bishop. Takes the knight, bishop takes. Oh, we might have just circumvented it. Yes, so they've moved back. So it gives us time to... Oh, no, it doesn't. I was just going to say it gives us time to move the bishop, like we said, but then he just takes the knight. Oh, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. Don't even have a check because the knight's there. Oh, we're still back in the same boat. We're not going to get out of this, are we? Grab a pawn. Takes the bishop. Oh, tick the rook. Knight comes, knight attacks. No, it's not good. It's not good. Oh, I thought we'd done it. I was celebrating in my mind then. What oh, could escape? Bishop's got no protection on. We take. Well, but then the rook takes, and then he's got protection. <sighs> that doesn't help that doesn't help just gets the knight for free I cannot find the answer in this situation I thought I had done I was celebrating and now it's just gone flat what else do we have we don't have attack the knight but then he just takes the bishop
Attack the knight, he takes the bishop. Knight puts a check on the king. King moves down to attack the knight. None of that works. Oh, I might have to resign this one. Oh, that's scandalous. The player that looked like they were doing nothing. And we gave them everything. We were too late to the party. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, two pawns. No, he won't let us get away with that, will he? Because he'll take the knight. And then, oh, he'll take the bishop. Take. I don't think it will go. Take. Oh, it's got to be something like that, hasn't it? What is this? Oh. So this rook is jammed in the corner there. Can a knight get in there? The knight would have to be either here or here. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Take. Takes. Take. Two pawns. For the knight. Okay. Two pawns for the knight. Attacking the higher piece, they might forget themselves. Oh no, he's on our rock. <laughs> it's tunnel vision. Oh, give me strength. And he's on our knight. Take it with the knight. Okay, just because they've got more pieces doesn't mean they've won the game. Come on, let's see if we can do something here. We took a long time over that calculation. We used up so much time. We're only on two minutes now. It's got zero increment as well. So we are going to have to... I think it's defending the bishop. Sorry, defending the pawn. So there'll be an exchange of the rooks, I believe. Hmm.
rook is down looks like he's wanting to stop the knight from coming here when the bishop goes here it's also attacking our bishop it's on a white square can bring the bishop back could attack the bishop could bring the bishop here maybe they're going to push the pawn down bishop can come here hitting their bishop when it comes there but it does stop the rook if we go there shall we do this one first baiting the pawn let's see if it goes for it it's got three pieces defending there so I, I can't really see why they wouldn't do that don't forget the knight can take this pawn it would be attacking the rook But we may not get the time to do any of that. Bishop's moved out of the way. It's gone into the corner. We can take the pawn, like we said. And we said the rook exchange is probably going to happen. Knight is definitely coming out, whichever way it's coming out. Let's take a pawn. a brief fleeting moment we're plus one even though we're minor pieces a minor piece down we've gathered up quite a lot of pawns they've only got two pawns left well okay not anymore so they're going greedy munching can we take advantage of the greedy munch situation now i don't see any mate type position things Night, 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 night. Bring the rook here. Get the knight here. No matey type things. Let's bring the rook here. Just let them go greedy munching some pawns. Fingers crossed. King's going to hit here. Bishop's protecting at the minute. Pawn can hit the bishop. Yep, it's going to take. Just bring this here. Makes sense for them to reduce down. I don't think we'll get this one up, but got sights on it. They seem to be delaying coming down with this. Wants to get rid of our... Hmm. So he's going to have the, the only one with the knight on the damn thing. Oh, we don't do that because the king can just come across. Ooh. It's going to be the only one with a damn knight on the board and we're going to get wiped out. What if we push this pawn? Thirty seconds. Oh no 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 no! What is going on? Come on, let's get promotion. Although this, his knights are just covering all the squares. It's a bit mean. That's a bit mean. Forget about that knight. Let's grab it. Give it to us. Oh, give it to us. Last game for today. Ten minutes and oh, let's get the findings of the evaluation out of the way see if there's any improvements in the game let's attack the pawn i'm still still smarting from the do nothing guy player that we played where it looked like they did nothing 
looked at the evaluation afterwards and it, well they didn't do anything we kind of created some sort of fictitious brilliant movements that they'd made and all we had to do was simple maneuvers chess is so weird it makes you think that things are worse than what they really are okay let's get into the groove on this so we just push this pawn open the dark square bishop I'm a fan let's go with it no oh, it's not interested let's take with a check on the king let's take the bishop best taken with the queen i don't understand why they're delaying there but shall we attack the queen anyway it's probably a method in the madness Okay, they've gone back. Bit of space. Thinking potentially attacking, seeing whether we can open it up, get the rook on the queen. could easily turn it on its head well they can't castle at this moment in time queen side because the bishop's there so maybe they're going to hit gives us the excuse to do what we wanted to do which was bring the bishop here and fingers crossed maybe they take ah no that spoilt it a bit so we're gonna have to take this pawn and even then if we do bring the bishop back he's just gonna drop the pawn in front of our face this pawn could be attacked so we could bring the queen here or two on one. I think the queen's simply coming here. They're not, so if we do take, maybe the rook comes across. So then he's got like a two on one on the knight. I suppose we take the queen off the board. He takes. Go there, go there. Take his queen takes our queen knight's not escaping though is it you know that's um a funky way of gaining some advantage isn't it Potentially a poison pawn, methinks. Comes there, rooks here. Or maybe even the rook doesn't move and the queen moves. They're stuck in the queen, so the queen just moves. Got a two on one. I suppose we'd just take the knight off the board then, wouldn't we? Take the knight off the board, but our queen doesn't have any protection. So to me, it feels like it's poisonous. So I don't really want to entertain that. Bringing the bishop here again, they're just going to lock down. I I'll prefer that they would take, but I don't think they will take. I think they'll just lock it down. Which is a shame. 
So what positives can I bring to the table? Just maybe moving the bishop to try and get some protection. For this square because at the minute he's got three pieces looking to really rain down on it. I'm going to bring the bishop here. Yeah, poison pawn I believe. Yeah. Bring the rook across. Probably still poison has made it strong now. Takes, 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 blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay. Well, at least we've got bishop protecting. Knight can swing to the other side if it has to. Could attack the queen if it has to. And it does have a comeback square, which is here. Yeah, we did just say that, didn't we? They're going to be attacking. But if we take, his rook can take and he's going to be on. So we may as well attack the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. We are currently defended. We do have a comeback square, like we said. And we probably need to move our queen out of the way because all of this is going to kick off. I thought he was going to slide here. His knight, when he takes, he's got to check on our king. But we take. He takes, got to check on our king. We take. He takes. His pawn takes. And our rook doesn't have any protection on. Could move the queen off of the line. Could take the pawn. Take the pawn. Knight takes with a check. Yeah, we lose out. We lose out. <laughs> queen across. Pawn still takes. Oh, pushes down. Queen across. We're still on their queen. He does have a check on our king with the knight if he wants to sacrifice it for some reason. Saved his queen. Mm -mm -mm, something's telling me we are in some type of threat. We've taken, we have two pieces on there. They have two pieces defending. Just look and see if there's anything that's unprotected. The bishop's unprotected. Queen could swing here, attacking the bishop, but the queen... No, it's not. It's, it is protected. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. See what he wants to do with the knight. Yeah. Again, he's got... Excuse me, he's got this. I think he's banking on the whole idea of this, this. He's going to want to get rid of the knight. He's going to get rid of the bishop. Where we're sending his knight to. Again, he could do this business, but maybe he's going to attack the knight here. Queen 
queen's in such a nice position. I mean, we can't go here, get a check and get the bishop off. Ooh. Oh. Tactical. Oh, I'm gonna say, I was thinking it's tactical because we can just take it off the board. And I was going to say, yeah, you see the focused on getting all these pieces here, but we still do have our pieces protecting this area and the opponents resigned. Brilliant. That was the last game. Nice one.